Do you enjoy playing with paper? That's probably a very rhetorical question. If you have landed here on my channel, you are likely someone that enjoys mixed media and the different um, projects and mixed medium techniques that we can get involved in. I am going to cover a composition book with Mamagami paper. Mamagami is a Japanese art that is generally referred to or described as kneaded paper. In their tradition, ka kanyoka starch is used to strengthen kozo paper, which is a fibrous paper to begin with. That gives it the appearance of leather or um, fabric, if you will. And that paper is then crumpled to achieve a high degree of flexibility. Now, that is the description that I pulled off of Wikipedia. But for this particular purpose and the research that I've done from other YouTube channels, from blogs that I found online, from Pinterest, from different places across the web, for our purposes, I am going to make this paper more fabric-like with coconut oil. So as you can see, I am just crumpling up the piece of paper putting a little coconut oil into my hand and kneading that until it becomes a smaller version of the original page and is more fabric-like. It also takes the appearance, for the most part, of your image out of the paper. And the more you knead it, the less you see of that image. So for my purposes to cover this composition notebook, I have decided to kind of collage with this paper. So I am going to be tearing it into strips and gluing it onto this front cover um, because I don't want the appearance of, of that image to, to be clear or to show anywhere. And I've done a lot of these magazine pages. Some I need and you can't tell what type of image was there. Others, you can still see like you can in this one, you can still see the remnants of the image. I don't know whether it depends on the magazine or whether it depends on how aggressive I was with kneading the paper, but I do know that the more you knead it, the less of the image you shall see. So I'm tearing that with my tear ruler and just laying it into place where I would like to put it. Then we'll just collage, collage this down until we have the entire front and back covered. And I don't want to bore you with continuous bibble babble talk 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 but I think this is a pretty easy project and I think the results are pretty spectacular if you could feel this um, after you get it glued into place and feel the texture on the front cover and the back cover of this composition book it it really is a very tactile experience as well as a very pleasant visual experience. Now I'm going to be quiet and finish this book.
Now I have everything glued into place and I am covering it all with my go-to, which is that Mod Podge hard coat. I just think that gives everything a nice, nice finish. It protects your image. It protects your cover. It's going to protect this paper. So giving it a, a good solid coat of the Mod Podge and I will let that dry. I usually do this kind of at the end, set it aside and come back to it the following day. So while we're here and while we're waiting for that to dry, let me just ask you to engage with my channel. If you would, give me that thumbs up. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So that has dried. And take a look at the cover. There is a little bit of shine on it from the Mod Podge hard coat. I think that makes a very nice appearance for this. And now we just need to cover the inside front and the inside back and decide on a closure for this book. So I'm going to go around the outside edge first and make sure everything is adhered and glued into place and that we don't have anything kind of um, loose. And that takes just a moment, as you well know. Trim up any of the outside edges. Sometimes that Mod Podge... Um, you know, when you come over the outside edge, it leaves that little glue residue right there on the edge. So I'm going to trim that down. And there. Front and back cover complete. Now there is a lot of things that you could do with this. I'm choosing to leave it without any focal point. I think that the paper itself is a focal point. But I did take this tape. This is a uh, tape that you can buy in the hardware store. I think it is for either plumbing or electrical, but it is that silver, silver tape. I ran it through my um, Big Shot to give it some dimension. And I just chose a dotted embossing folder to do that. This tape is sticky on one side. Obviously, it's tape. So it's sticky on one side. And I am, am measuring carefully. Well, okay, not carefully. But I am eyeing, eyeing it to make sure that um, I have it kind of even across the spine. And I'll put that down. And I think that's enough of a focal point on this book is just the little dots on that silver spine and the beauty of the kneaded paper um, on the front cover and the back cover. So I'm going to let it stand at that. I have this ribbon that I think is a nice color that blends well with my cover. And I also have this black, um, very thin ribbon. The very thin ribbon I am going to glue down along the edge of that silver paper just to get a complete straight line. There's a couple of little areas where that um, tape kind of made a little indent, if you will, and I like it to be crisp. So I'm going to crispen that spine with this black ribbon. And I keep thinking about this, but I, I'm going to stay consistent with this little black and I'll use that um, tealy blue black kind of ribbon for my closure. Now I pulled out of my catch paper bin or my roll off, gel press roll off or gel press, press pull to clean my, my plate. I keep all of those papers. I pulled out of that for my inside front and my inside back cover. And I just chose a color that I thought was matchy with my, my cover. And I like, I have a tendency to go towards grays, blues, blacks, browns, those tones. So that is exactly what I chose. Shocking, right? Um, 
I think you'll find that most of my projects are in this color family. So I shall glue that down or measure that to make sure that it fits properly and cut myself a couple of pieces of ribbon and adhere that ribbon to the inside front and inside back cover and then we will glue those in sheets on top of the ribbon to create that closure. Now, just a little tidbit of conversation here. I am recording this in my home office. My husband is out working in the yard, and he has let our horse out. So I am sitting looking out my window, trying to focus on the video that I'm recording, and my horse is staring into the window at me, and it's a little bit distracting. <laughs> All right, let's... Cut that ribbon. And I cut it into another long piece. Again, you know, I just really like this ribbon. I really like the way that it coordinates with the front and back. And I'm making just a simple bookmark out of it. And now I want to put a couple of pockets on the inside front and the inside back. And I'm just choosing plain white cardstock. And I'm going to stamp on that. And I'm pulling out a wooden um, script stamp. And I'm using black ink, archival black ink. And I'm just going to randomly stamp these. I think that's enough. Again, I think the um, paper stands, stands on, its own, on its own. And I'll ink around the outside edge of those pockets. Kind of go over it a little bit to messy it up or grunge it up a bit. Glue it down. And there's a nice little tuck spot if you are looking to store something that you want to put in your book at a later date. We'll tie that off in a little square knot. And I think that we shall call that a day on this book. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like what I'm doing with these composition notebooks. I think this is number six. So we are halfway through the dozen that I purchased. And I do have I hope six more ideas on how to finish these, but if you will join me. I would love to hear your thoughts and pop over to my Facebook group, Tool Crows Mixed Media on Facebook and post your post your videos, post your your pictures, post whatever you want over there. I would appreciate it greatly. And once again, playlist is right here. I shall say bye for now.